okay guys now it's time to go a little deeper into test ng and explore the other features that test ng provides us so in this session we will see what listeners are how to use listeners and apart from that we will also see how to skip a test and how the results are logged so this uh, this session will basically include skipping of a test listeners and how to report your results so this is a custom logger or reporter as you may say rather it's a custom logger because custom reporter will create a report and uh, i will cover that in a later session so just assume that this is a custom logger what logging means is you will get all the details of what, which tests are executing which tests have failed which tests have passed and which have skipped so here i will also cover assertions to a certain extent so now let's dig deeper into the code so i, have, I we have this our famous method first test uh, and what i have done here is i have just uh excluded the system dot out dot print ln and instead of that i have put certain assert statements so assert is a class in test ng and assert true is used as a method of test ng which take which takes in one parameter if you pass in true for that method then this particular registration method will get passed if you pass in false for assert true then it will fail for that particular method so now i have put assert dot assert true and pass true for registration login reservation and yeah for these three methods for checkout method which depends on the reservation method i have i have failed this deliberately by passing in false now how to skip a test i have included this one more method called skip test and here what i am simply doing is i am throwing a new skip skip exception and i am just displaying that skip test is skipped so this will appear in the log now skip test does not have any dependencies now this is our class this is how our class looks like our famous first test class and i have also mentioned that that already exists in the test ng xml nothing needs to be done for that now i have created this one more class called listener class dot java and what this listener class is doing here i have declared public class listener class and i have implemented the i test listener when you implement i test listener it will have certain unimplemented methods as you know an interface this i test listener since it's an interface it it has unimplemented methods none of the methods will have body only the definitions or the declarations rather not the definitions the declarations and it will be a method without a body in the basic i test listener so when you implement i test listener either you have to declare a class as abstract if you don't want to give bodies to all the methods or you declare it as uh, a normal class and you have to implement all the methods so here i have declared it as a normal class listener class which implements i test listener and i have implemented all the unimplemented methods when you when you don't implement a particular method say if i say here uh, if i comment this out then what happens commenting is like you are not having that particular method so just have a look here what happens i will just show it to you okay this okay so we have a red line over here listener class what is says is add unimplemented methods now since we have commented this since i already added all these methods we did not get any uh, red lines at that time but when you just say public class listener class what it will do is it will give a red line over here and it will say add unimplemented methods so when you click on add unimplemented methods you will get all the methods 
all the method implementations with an empty body. What you need to do is add bodies to all the implemented methods. So now let's uncomment this as it was earlier and the red line will go away. There you go. The red line has gone away. So you save this and let me go through each of the method one by one. So the first method is on test start. So this method will get executed whenever our test starts. Whenever it encounters the at the rate test annotation, uh, it will start the it will it will print this uh, me message. So next is on test success. Whenever the test passes, it will print this success for and it will print the result dot get name. What result is? it's a um, it's an object of i test result class and it holds the result uh, the uh, the name of the method that has passed on test failure gives the name of the method will print the name of the method that has failed by result or get name and coming to the skip method uh, it will skip it will print the uh, name of the method that that is being skipped so earlier we saw how to skip a method if you go back to first test java and you will see here throw new skip exception skip test is skipped so it uh, it will print this if a particular test is getting skipped now coming down here we don't need to do anything now here is where till now we had used i test result result and now we are getting something called i test context context now this section deals with the suite level. This section was dealing with the test level. Now it is dealing with the suite level. So this message will get printed at the very beginning starting suite and it will get the name of the suite and here it will print the finishing suite. So uh, not the name of the suite, it will print the name of the, yeah. Uh, so let's uh, see what our execution shows us I right click here and run as testing speed. ok so as you can see over here registration has passed skip test has skipped login has passed reservation has passed and checkout has failed as expected and what we get in the console is the listener output starting suite test one starting registration success for registration starting skip test skipping skip test starting login success for login starting reservation success for reservation starting checkout fail checkout finishing suite test one all right so this is how it executes now you might be wondering what is the connection between listener class and first test, how it is getting connected. So the connection lies in test ng xml. If you notice test ng xml, it has something called listener tag. Now this listener tag will include the listening class, name of the listening class. Inside the listener tag there will be a listener tag and then in the class name we will mention the entire fully qualified path of the listener class. It is not necessary to mention the fully qualified path if the uh, class lies in the same package but it is always a better practice to include the fully qualified path. So this is how you connect the listener to your main class and that is why we are getting the results that are uh, being shown in the console as well as the test ng result output. So this is how you add listeners and you report your tests. Thank you.